morning out there, or good afternoon, good evening, good good night, wherever and whatever time you're watching. But it's morning, it's just after 9am and um, I'm going to do a bit of an experiment with bacon. <sighs> Don't mess with bacon. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fry some bacon in water. It sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? It sounds bizarre. I've never done it before. I've seen it on social media and I thought I'll give it a go. Um, uh, so come and have a look what I've got. I've got three rashers of bacon. It's back bacon. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to work and I've got an, um, an empty sort of measuring jug which will be filled with water. And the plan is, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go through the experiment with you and we'll see if it works. So I'm just going to fill this jug up. Um, it's sort of, I just want about that much in. I don't really know how much I want in, but we'll sort of play it by ear because that's what it's all about. So this is a pretty, uh, it's going to be a good one, I hope. Uh, I don't want to ruin the bacon, but it's um, all in the name of science. And I have to thank the lovely person who sent me this t-shirt as well. It was, I think it was last year, beginning of last year. I have had it on. Uh, in a few videos and on a few of my lives so thank you very much for the t-shirt very 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 lovely gift so I've got a frying pan I've got a measuring jug full of water I've got three rashes of bacon what could go wrong so I've seen this on social media I didn't see I didn't watch how it was done because I wanted to um, I wanted to do it myself basically I'm going to turn the heat on and I'm just going to it on low well not low but not raging and what you do you put your bacon in the pan I think like this um, like that that's all over the spot there that one I'll get it all nice because um, I know you lovely people out there like a bit of uniformity and I do as well um, and basically all you do then is you put the is you put the water in like that just to cover the bacon I hope that's enough. <clears throat> and then you sort of do it so you can see you see the water, the water's in there. Like that. And then you just sort of do it sort of slowly. Um and we'll we'll go from there. And uh, I did turn that bit of bacon around. Um so it's just sort of um sort of changing colour now in the water. I've got the heat on low. Um, no, no oil was used. Um, yeah, and we'll see what happens. My wife said, um, "You're not putting all the bacon in the pan, are you?" I said, um, "No, I'll just do three. Um, and if it doesn't work, well, you know, the pig is beautiful, isn't it? it Absolutely, I love bacon and cheap bacon, expensive bacon. I mean, there's no wrong bacon, is there? It's all really tasty and good. All hail the pig." Right, come and look at this. There's a little bit of a, uh, not a lot going on. So you're not really, you're not really frying it, are you? You're boiling it. You're boiling it in water. Um, there is a little bit of um, the old whiteness coming out there now. Yeah, that's not looking. Oh, look at that. <laughs> So I've done bacon in the past, I've done it in the air fryer, uh, did that a year ago. I was having a look, I just put crispy bacon into um, uh, YouTube and um, a picture of bacon on toast came up. I thought, oh that looks nice and it was it was my, in my video I did a year ago, I, to I totally forgot about it. Um, what was I going to say? I just, just got thinking about that and I've just lost what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, right, I'll get back to you in a sec when I do think about it. Editing's going to be all over the shop here. I've just remembered what I was going to say. Because I'm doing it in water, because I've done bacon videos in the past, I had a lot of comments saying they um, soak their bacon in water before they eat it because it gets rid of all the nitrates out of the bacon. Please let me know your thoughts on that. Um, I know the nitrates are pretty bad, aren't they, for... Um, well, all, all, 
I don't know, it's just what I've seen, you know, in the news and all that malarkey, that it's, uh, it, you know, it can go on and cause sort of nasty things going on in your body. So, I don't know though, it's just what I've here. I mean, I've been eating bacon all my life and I'm still here at 50, but you never know, do you? You just don't know what's round the corner. We've got a bit of a bubbling action going on. I'm just going to turn it over for what it's worth. I don't think it matters really. And maybe I've got the wrong bacon. Maybe I should be using sort of streaky bacon. I, I don't know. It's all, it's all, um, oh, I should have just left it as it were. I'll, I'll leave it as it were. Oh no. Anyway, it's, it's, that's it. Just washing this again. I always wash my hands. I always wash, um, you know, always washy, I suppose. Because, you know, I noticed doing these videos, there's a lot of people, um, you know, when I first started doing the videos, no, no one was watching. But as you sort of progress, I suppose, um, I get a lot of opinions and um, it's good as well because it keeps me on my toes um, and I get a lot of comments saying oh you wash your hands and because you've been handling raw meat um, I've never had any problems though look at all this white goo so <clears throat> it's taking forever this I'm probably going to have to Start digging for oil out in the field back there um, for more gas. Um, maybe I put too much water in, I don't know, but the water is evaporating off now. Um, yeah, too much water maybe. The, um, the water is pretty much gone now. Um, we're getting a bit of a tinge on the old bacon there. Um, it's going a bit like gelatinous. I like mine nice and crispy. So. Mm. Um, and you're probably saying oh it's cheap bacon well this is not cheap bacon this is dry cured um, Ed Welsh Edwards Welsh Edwards the Welsh butcher bacon from Tesco and it was three pounds for ten rashers and it was a recommendation from Matt now, I don't know if I've ruined this dry cured bacon by doing that. But I suppose it's getting all the nasty nitrates out, isn't it? And I'm having it on some bread and butter. So I'm going easy with the butter because I'm on a bit of a diet. And um, I've turned my heat really low now. It's not winning for me this um, method, it's taking far too long and um, done in the air fryer on the air crisp setting is my method because I like to get all the fat nice and crispy. Maybe I should have just chopped the fat, um, snipped it at the side, you know like when you do gammon, you tend to snip the fat at the side so it doesn't all sort of go like that the bacon the fat sort of curls it up in that sort of an action four days later we're, um, we're sort of there at something like how I like mine then it's not going to work all that fat's going to go on there now isn't it right hang on a minute I need to put some of it down right let's do this again right Got some tongs, put that on there. Using a bit of the old uh, kitchen paper, thinking about my weight, like you know, I'm just looking, trying to look after myself, as they say. So I've had to really cook it because I like it. I don't like that fat gelatinous. I'm going to put these two bits on here, on me, on me um, bread, and I'm just going to cut this in half. This bit messed all my sandwich up now. Put that on there so it don't get cold. But I'll try this as it is. Yeah, so that was pretty much like a step-by-step -step sort of video. I didn't start the video, you know, 
put it in the pan and then sort of finishing it, bringing it out. I just wanted to show you the process. Um, and yeah, it's took us, I should have timed it really. I never thought it'd take so long. It's took so long. Go and check the old, uh, the old, the old, uh, um, what's it word? The meter. Go and check the old um, energy meter. Oh yeah. It's still salty. Oh, but that's so good. Oh, yeah. The fat, everything is sort of highly intensified, the salt flavour. And I love that. I really do. It's not so much greasy and fatty anymore. A lot of the fat has rendered out. I'll show you the pan. Oh, turn the light off to turn it on. Um, there's the pan. There's all the fat. Look at that. Perfect. Get some bread in there and do some fried bread. Oh, yes. But I can't do that. I can't torture myself um, by doing the old fried bread malarkey because I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. Like, um, So let's get this cut in half. I mean, I like it on toast as well. I like my bacon. I mean, it's up to you, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's what you want, isn't it? I just don't like that gelatinous stuff there. I mean, I'll eat it. Don't get me wrong. It's going down the old grid like. We. I bought, um, I got a dodgy selfie stick, so I bought myself like a tripod. Um, and I, I was trying to remember that word the other night and I, for, I couldn't remember what it was called. Anyway, I've come back to my old dodgy selfie stick and it's a bit of a, it's got a bit, it's a bit floppy. Um, so I'm going to have to get a new one today. Like, I'll just get like for like, although it's, it's busting two places, so no, I better not. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up uh, and maybe consider subscribing to the channel and I'll show up eating now and I'll get eating. I'll show up talking and I'll get eating. Lovely white bread, buttered with bacon. What <laughs> not to love? I should have done more bacon. Need at least four rashers in that. So, let's get back to this experiment. Would I do that again? No, I definitely would not. And maybe if I did, I would. I'd put half as much water in, it might not take as long, but I tried it, I'm glad I tried it. A lot of fat has rendered out, there's quite a bit of fat on the back bacon. Maybe I should have done it with smoked, streaky bacon, or I don't know. Like I say, it's just, it's all trial, trial by error, or something like that, isn't it? So if you got this far, I'd off me cap to you. Thank you very much for watching and sticking in and um, showed you the process. Um, yeah. <laughs> Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I would be very interested. So take care. Just going to have a barbecue today. It's just started to rain. Just seen a load of spots of rain. Right, so take care. All the best and I'll catch you on the next one.